Been one hour until city councilors, the mayor, and concerned citizens converge on City Hall to discuss the future of a proposal that some say is necessary for the future of our children and others say will crush the local economy. Local restaurant owners say that tax would drive up prices. If a family of four in there who can't have free refills and sodas for $3.50, they're going to keep driving to Taos. Money from the soda tax would pay for early childhood education in the city and others say paying more for a soda is worth it. As a mother, I can tell you it would allow me to have a huge relief in the terms of my expenses. Santa Feans say they see the good and bad in the proposal. The soda tax could help more than 1,000 kids and their families with the cost of things like pre-K. I just don't see a lot of regard for the small businesses. Here at Boxcar, a whiskey neat costs $7. Add soda to it, still 7 bucks at this point. But Maruz tells us that as soon as that soda tax goes into effect, you add $2 to every single cocktail. Santa Fe's mayor says the extra money that parents save on child care will eventually make its way back to those local restaurants. If we're able to curb those costs by public investment, that means there's more money in the pockets of parents and those parents are spending money in those small businesses that are in our community. Bruce says he wants to see early childhood education funded in Santa Fe, but believes this tax would hurt not only small businesses, but some of the same people that the tax is designed to help. Single mom servers, my bartenders, people who work for a living, their tips are going to go down because of resentment on this tax. Now, even if this proposal does pass tonight, it doesn't mean the soda tax goes into effect. For about one month, there'll be public hearings on the issue, and then on March 8th, City Council will come back again for a final vote on the issue. Reporting in Santa Fe, David Carl, KOAT Action 7 News.